Let's discuss the low energy approximation of graphene electron spectrum. The, the solution within um, at, the, at the proximity of the Dirac points um, has actually linear linear um, linear dispersion relation. So, so in the vicinity in the vicinity of, of the Dirac cones, the the energy and dispersion relation is linear and uh, it has a form of um, of this so the plus or minus fermi velocity times the times the momentum and, and the fermi velocity in graphene is approximately 10 to 6 meters per squared so it's quite fast electrons but it's similar to other materials so if we compare it with the with the two dimensional electron gas in a free particle model particle model or using um, or effective mass in, in, to, in, in the semiconductors in two-dimensional quantum well in semiconductors you will, we will have um, draw this uh, Kx, Ky, this will be the energy scale. You will have a parabolic spectrum with the band gap opened there. So this will be filled with electrons, this is empty. And we will have the energy of the conduction band equals this, um, the ground state energy minus the dispersion part, P squared over 2m conduction star. So we have this effective mass, they can be different curvatures. Again, and for the valence band, it's then the the offset for the valence band, the, the, its ground state minus p square over two m valence star, and, and and in the case of graphene, so if we draw the same kx ky, this so is the energy scale. We have this famous uh, uh, let me use a different color uh, Dirac cones so we have a linear dispersion relation the conical conical behavior there so the energy spectrum is plus or minus h bar vf key same as uh, plus or minus VFP, uh, and that's where this um, the ideas of relativistic particles come from. So if we if we look at the Einstein's equation, uh, we have this famous one m zero c squared, but that's for the particle at rest, so the momentum was zero. So for this is particle at rest. And uh, the the correct equation is then the square root of m zero c squared squared plus the cp squared, and that's for the particle for particle in motion. And for massless particles. particle like a photon we then have m0 equals 0 and this means that the energy now is the c times b and that's exactly what we have for the low energy approximation in graphene um, it's kind of like a, 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 a sim simplistic analogy so for the massive particles you will have p energy this dispersion and for the massless particles you will have this uh, the linear dispersion relation yeah. and uh, if you continue this analogy further so in graphene in graphene we can also say that the mass is zero Oops. 
and the, our sp speed of light. So this, this speed of light here is uh, Vf, the Fermi velocity. And more, more rigorously, actually, um, the solution of the, um, of the low-energy Hamiltonian in the continuous regime um, gives you something which is uh, very much uh, the same as the Dirac solution to Klein-Gordon equation. And it leads to also to a two-component wave function. And that we also saw there when we, when we discussed the ansatz for, for the tight bending problem, that our wave function... Oops, that our wave function has to have a, a two components. One is sitting on the A sub lattice and the other is sitting on the B sub lattice. And uh, because it, it has the same shape as this Dirac solution to the klein gordon equation, there's also similar properties, which we will discuss uh, further. Uh, namely, those are the chirality, chirality and the uh, pseudospin. spin.